So the very first step in this lab is getting that large bucket uh, of a sample down to a size that's manageable to run through our sieve stack. And to do that, we're gonna follow a two-step process. The first is a process called quartering. And we're gonna approximate that here on a rigid surface because it's very difficult to shovel off of a tarp. So that's an example of how our process will differ from the one that you saw in the video. All right, but we'll do quartering first and that flat surface you see there uh, on the right is where we will conduct that test. That is actually a platform for slump testing. So you'll see that again later in the semester. We're also gonna use a flat bottom shovel or what goes for one these days, an approximated one. Uh, again, another limitation. We're not using the perfect flat bottom shovel, but rather one that's uh, a camping shovel. And then the other piece of equipment we use for the second phase of sample reduction is this device right here. And this is what we call a riffle splitter. You should have seen this in the other video. If you watch that, this is from the Gibson Corporation. It's called a Porta Splitter. And this particular one has an opening size of one inch. So you will see when we pour our aggregate into this, it will basically randomly split into containers on the left side or the right side. And then those openings are one inch across. And so anything larger than one inch uh, will probably get stuck in there. So ideally you'd wanna sieve that material out uh, because this thing is pretty dangerous to hold open and try to get in there and, and unclog it. So 